Hi, this is Reggie with Stupid Raisins. In this video, I will show you how to add shapes in Final Cut Pro. I'm going to share with you creative ways to use shapes in your projects. So let's get it on! Let's start with the first way. Go to your browser, go to Generators and Elements. Go to Shapes, drag it to your timeline. Hit B to trim our generator. Hit A, go back to Select Tool and then let's delete this. Okay, now click the generator, remove the fill and scroll down the drop shadow opacity to zero. Okay, now right click and transform. Drag the blue handles at the corner to resize. Let's highlight this rider. Okay, combined with the Final Cut Pro's built-in tracker, this will look good. Oh yeah. Then click tracker, adjust the tracker. Make sure the rider is filled inside. The smaller, the better. Analyze. Great. Oh yeah. Okay, now done. Let's see. Oh yeah. Perfect. If this video has been helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. For the second way, let's make a face cam. Go to your browser, go to elements, shapes, and drag it to your timeline. Select the generator. Then under shape, click the drop down. You can select any shape you want. Okay. You can select star, octagon, hexagon, pentagon. But for this tutorial, we're gonna use octagon. And then, uncheck the outline, make the drop shadow opacity to zero. Okay, now go to the video inspector, change the blend mode to stencil alpha. Oh yeah! Now drag this circle at center to adjust our face cam. Then right click, transform, let's resize our face cam. By the way, you can adjust the size by holding shift and then dragging the middle blue handle. See? It doesn't mess up your shape. It applies to all the clips. Oh, oh. And drag the middle to adjust. Okay. Looks good. Done. And then select our generator and our video and hit option G to compound. Face cam. Now to move our face cam, just right click and transform and then drag it anywhere you like. Let's put it here. Oh, face cam to face cam. Nice, huh? Oh? Nice. Done. All right. Looks good. For the third way, let's draw attention using arrows. Drag shapes to your timeline. Go to generator inspector. Under shapes, make it arrow. And then remove the outline. Make the drop shadow opacity to zero. Let's change the color to lemon. Okay, let's adjust our arrow. Right click, transform. Drag the middle handle, but hold shift. Oh yeah. Let's rotate our arrow by dragging this blue handle. Okay. Let's track. Let's track our rider. Analyze. Nice. Done. Okay. Look at that. So nice. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. But if you want to learn more, I've made another video about generators in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.